Did you know that your code can break if you use equals to null instead of is null? Let me show you. Here as you can see we have an object that is null, then we say object equals to null, that is true, and then object is null, that is also true. So the behavior is as expected. But in this second example we have a person that is null and then we say person is null, true, but is person equal to null, then we get an error. Let's see. As you can see, we have a true here, which is for the is null, but for the equals to null, we have an exception. What happened? Well, I didn't tell you that in the person class, let's go over there, we have an overload of the equality operator, which means that when we do person equal to null, we are depending on this implementation. And this is an implementation that doesn't take into account the fact that the second parameter could be null and therefore we get an exception. So the takeaway here is to always use the is null because it is safer as it doesn't take into account the overload. So that way you can avoid unexpected bugs. Follow me for more done content.